vlog that I have done in so long. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Clarice. I'm gonna show you how to make your own farmhouse table. This is a super affordable and easy project for anyone. These tables can cost up to $200 to $500 to $1,000 depending on how you want it to look. And yeah, I can't wait to share it with all of you. So let's get going to this tutorial. I believe they discontinued this color for the lag table at Ikea, but feel free to use any table that you have at home. If you do want to buy this, this is available in a different color at Ikea. So first we're going to give it a good clean for sanding so that there are no dirts and whatsoever. After giving it a good sand, we're going to wipe off all of the debris and it's probably a good idea to vacuum around your space so that when you're painting, there's nothing that goes on your table. I've chosen a simple eggshell white, but you can most definitely use any color that you want. So after priming this with one coat, we are going to apply two coats of the white paint. Make sure you let each coat dry before applying the other ones. I went to Rona for 1x4s, which cost less than $4 each. My table required 7 pieces at 37 inches long, and we were able to cut that from 3 10 footer 1x4 pieces. Make sure that you measure your table and be sure to give them the exact measurements of how long you want your 1x4s to be. After giving those a really good sand, we're gonna pick our stain color, and I went with the custom color that I did. It's in between light and the dark, and this is basically two parts gray and one part dark walnut, and I really love how this one looks. I'm only applying one coat of this with a brush, and then we're gonna take a cloth and we're gonna work the stain through that wood so that it actually stains it and not just goes on top. After your 1x4s and your table are dry, we are going to put that together. And so first we have to measure the width of the table and mark down where the middle is so that we can first put our 1x4 on there. A calculator is not necessary for this, but it's good for your visuals here. So 37 inches is our 1x4s. Our table is 35.5 inches, which leaves us 1.5. We have to divide that by 2 because we have two sides. So we are left with 3 fourths of an inch to hang off on each side of the table. So mark that on your 1x4 as well as you can trace the 1x4 on your table so that if it ever moves with the glue, you can just put it back right on place. So we are gluing our 1x4s down with wood glue and this is a little bit tricky because these pieces are definitely going to move. Now if you're more comfortable to nail down your first piece so that all the others don't move then you can do that but I did want to see if everything was in line before I started nailing any pieces down permanently on the table. You can see that while gluing the remaining pieces down I've clamped some of the others so that you can keep it from moving. Holding these pieces together is most definitely super important when you're nailing your pieces down and so the clamp is really important in this part and this one I just got from Rona and it will definitely keep your pieces in place while you are nailing your wood down. Now it's up to you what type of nails you want to use. I just use some plain 5 centimeter nails to put these things down and it's very plain, looks like this, but some people like the exposed screw. So definitely go with that if you like that look. Leave that to dry for 24 hours and then after we are going to apply our finishing coat. This guy is simply going to protect your wood over time and you are going to apply two coats of these. Wait for that to dry and you're all finished. super easy and fun DIY that is going to last you for a very long time. I'm loving this table. I'm loving how this table turned out and I hope that you did too. Be sure to become friends with me on my social media and I'll see you all in the next DIY. Bye!